This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another action-packed Subnautica Sunday. So as you can see below us here, we are hovering right above a wreck. I don't think this is one I've been to yet. Actually, I'm almost positive this isn't one I've been to yet. This is out in the middle of freaking scrubby nowhere. I don't even know. We, we are way way out in the middle of, of Nowheresville. So, uh, yeah, we're going to explore it and hopefully get the last pieces we need to make the moon pool. And I think we also have everything we need to make the prawn suit. So that's what's on today's agenda. And I think it is becoming daytime. So it seems to be getting a little brighter down there. So that's awesome. There is a bunch of stuff down there. As you can see, there's some sand sharks, sand, what, yeah, sand sharks, sand tiger sharks, sand, whatever those things are. And uh, there's some death reaper faces, guys. Yeah. So we're, we're going to head down there anyway and uh, see what we can get into. Hopefully we can find everything we need. I'm decked out for deep diving for long term, staying under. I have the three different oxygen tanks here and I have the rebreather on. So we should be good to stay under there for some time. We are also hovered directly above this thing and right here is the entrance. So we should be okay. So let's head on in here and see what we can find to scan. Let's get our handy dandy scanner out and start looking for some stuff. Now, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the right wreck that has the other pieces of the moon pool that we need. I really want to get that going so that we can upgrade the sea moth and other goodies. And yeah, so... We're gonna hunt around here. So that door is sealed. We will come back to that one. Let's open this one since it's closer. We should be able to open this one. Yep. Let's open this one. We'll check this one out. Then we'll go get some more oxygen and come back and open up that sealed one. So far I'm not seeing anything to scan. The scanner's not really lighting up at all. Oh, is that open to a really big room? That does. Look at that. That's in anything above us? Nope. Oh wow, that's cool. Oh, look how it's like mashed in there. Okay, uh, let's see. Nothing? Is there seriously nothing in here to skip? Oh, whoa, that goes down there. Okay, we're not going down there right now. We're going to have to go back for oxygen soon. There's nothing to scan in these main rooms. Oh, look, sand's like smashed in the side there. That's cool. So they kind of taunt you a little bit. They're like, come in, look at all these empty rooms with tons of cool stuff, but nothing to scan. All right, let's go get our oxygen back up, and then we'll come back in here, and we'll go down those stairs first and explore down there before we head into the sealed door. Just want to make sure our oxygen... We could have stayed down there just a little bit longer, but... I don't want to take the chance. I want to make sure it stays nice and full. There, that teleporty McDeath stuff is over there. I'm going to keep an eye on him. I don't think we have anything that can really kill him yet. Let's go in here as quickly as we can. And then over here. And then I'm going to head down those stairs. This is going to be kind of sketchy because to get back out, we have to go back up that little hole there. Okay, let's get our scanner out and see if there is anything at all to scan. Not really, there's nothing to scan in this place? You know, you would think in one of these, probably in that freaking sealed room. Nothing in here at all until we get to that sealed room. Alright, so let's let's head back out this way. And then we'll, we'll, we'll fill our oxygen back up. Actually, you know what? Let's not fill our oxygen back up. Let's open this door or cut a hole in it Pretty sure we should be able to cut a hole in this, yes. So let's cut a hole in this first, and then we will go get oxygen and come back. Can yeah, there you go. I was gonna say, you gonna you gonna do it? You gonna cut that hole? For some reason this makes me squint every time. I mean I know it's not really bright and it should you know it doesn't hurt my eyes, but it's like a reaction. It's like don't don't look directly at it. Don't just look away. Look Okay, anyway, so there we go. We got that cut out. Let's go refill our oxygen, and then we will come back. Just do a little speedy jump right up here. Refill that oxygen. 
And back down we go. Now there better be something in this room. I'm gonna be mad. It took me forever to find this stupid wreck, too. Uh, and I really want... I think we already have one piece of the moon pool, so I think we only need to scan, like, one or two more. And we should... We should be good. Oh, here we go. Here's a data bank. Data box. Cyclops shield generator. Oh, nice. Okay, well, I'll take that. I think we may have already had that, but that's fine. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if we had it. If we didn't have it, we had something we could have made that was Cyclopsy upgrade. We need to find the uranium crystals. I know they're called something different, but it's basically uranium crystals. It's like uranite or something like that. But uranium. We need to find uranium in order to make a lot of that Cyclops stuff. So I'm going to have to look up where that is at and see if we can find that. There's a freaking sand shark around here somewhere. Can I... Can we not? Okay, I can't push that out of the way. We're just going to have to wait till that cools. We're going to push it a little bit with our oxygen here. I think we should be okay. Can you hurry up and cool? Yeah, gee, thanks. Okay, push that out of the way. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, wow, this goes way back in here. Is that another sealed door? Okay, that's not another sealed door. That's a door we have to open. We're at half oxygen. We're going to head back out refill our oxygen and then we will come back in here this one this is a big wreck for not having very much stuff oh, and I think we're out of power it's for not having much stuff this wreck is freaking huge we're gonna have to refill our battery on that bad boy too because we need that for quick escapes but luckily we have our battery charger up here so I'm gonna do that real quick alright battery has been replaced and we have a fully charged one in there right now. And we're going to use that bad boy to rush in here as quickly as possible. And did I go? I went the wrong way, didn't I? Oh my god. Come on, Fire Spark. Get it together. So when you go down around this way, through this door, through this door, and into here, and open this door. Come on, come on. Oh, that just opens to the outside. There was no moon pool in here. Is, uh, I'm not going that way. Can we shut that door? Yeah, shut that. We don't, I don't want nothing to do with that guy. Okay, well, maybe it's outside the wreck somewhere on the ground. Oh, that's really frustrating. Nothing. This is, there's nothing to scan in here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I spoke too soon. We have one of these death tunnels. So let's head. Oh, you know what we need to do? I see what it's making us do. Okay. Okay, game. I got your number. I got your number, game. I see what you want us to do. We're going to have to, we're going to have to slide by this guy. Uh, hopefully he doesn't pay attention to us refill our oxygen and go in that way it's doing that to give us a shortcut to our oxygen source because that tunnel is going to take us way deep inside there so let's uh let's try this again hopefully that guy didn't notice us the sand shark apparently wants to to tear into us okay where was it here it is so we got our light we're just gonna have to kind of go slow ish Go down here. Oh, it goes two different ways. Okay, so does this dead end? No, it does not. Oh, holy crap. Oh, this is right where you come in. I didn't even notice that was over there. Okay, so let's go this way. And then that dead ends. Those are just two ways over there? Okay, that's that's kind of stupid. The, it basically gets you in there without cutting the doors, I guess. Let me refill my oxygen one more time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess around with this a little bit, and then I will be right back with you in just a second. All right, so I found a little hidden compartment. Apparently, I missed, missed it last time, or I thought it was already in an area that I was already in. I'm not sure, but we're going to see if what I need to scan is in here. Wow, this is really crowded in here. Uh, hopefully, 
Hopefully, Moonpool? Moonpool piece, are you in here? Anywhere? Nope. Nope, nothing. Nothing at all. This wreck... This wreck was pretty much a bust, and that kind of aggravates me just a little bit. So, if we go... If we go this way... And this way, this leads us back out. And then we need to go back up and get some more food and stuff. And then I'm going to check around the outsides here and see if we can find... Maybe it's on the outside and I'm just not seeing or haven't seen it yet because it's on the outside of the wreck. That sucks though that there was that much to explore in that huge, huge wreck. And we found one data bank. That's kind of lame. Okay, so going out here around the outside is going to be slightly dangerous. We gotta keep an eye on that guy, and I'm not too worried about the the sharks. Uh, they're they're not that big of a deal. I'm, I haven't really had any run-ins with those Death Reaper guys, so uh, I don't know how hard they hit. Nothing to scan. Yeah. So apparently, the wiki is misinformative. Oh, that guy just went into the ground yeah get out of here nobody nobody cares about you yeah apparently the wiki is slightly misinformative because I was under the impression that this wreck here would contain a piece of the moon pool either that or it just has not been updated since the last patch I don't know oh here's another data bank okay that's cool do we got um Cyclops Hall Module, Mark 1. Okay, that's cool, so I guess that gives us more hit points. Well, it looks like the Moon Pool's not going to be a thing today. So, that's a thing. But, uh, we can build the Prawn Suit, which we can use for future exploration. So, let's head... I don't know what to do about this guy. Can we throw stuff at this guy? Can we pick up this? No, he doesn't even care. No, dude, nope, 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 nope. I want nothing to do with you. I have nothing to fight you with right now, so bye. All right, so we are back at the main base, and it is time to build this prawn suit. So we're going to head on up here. I'm going to check this recipe real quick. Uh, I know about what we need. I just need to know the amounts. So let's click this and this. So we need uh, two aluminum oxide crystals. We have plenty of those. Two plasteel ingots. Those should be easy enough. I collected some more titanium. And two aerogel and two lubricant. So I'm going to have to go get... Well, we might have this stuff. I don't know if it's grown enough for the lubricant. Have you grown enough? Let's see. We got a couple. I forget. What is it? It's three per... This little guy is going to have to go. Come here. Come here. Come here, little guy. There. Yep. See ya. Okay. So, I think it's three per. Do I have enough to hold? No. Oh. No, I don't. So, let's make the one lubricant, and then we'll come back out and get the stuff to make the other one. I'm going to craft up and grab everything we need, and then we will be back once I have all of the goodies. All right, and we are back, and it is time to finally craft the prawn suit. I've been wanting this thing for freaking ever. The downside is, is I don't think we can modify it without the freaking moon pool. So I'm going to have to find that. I'm probably going to do that off camera, but let's craft this bad boy. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Craft it up, little robots. Craft it up. I like the little warning it gave us. That was hilarious. All right, here we go. Bronze suit awesomeness. Yeah, see, we just have the basic arms right now. I know I've unlocked, like, the torpedo well, arm and other it. stuff. Oh, are we just sinking straight down? Okay. Is it not... Okay, so we can hold space bar to go up... And swim, kind of like swim. It's like a jetpackish jump, and then you let go of spacebar, and it just goes to the ground. Oh, that's so good. 
So that does that, and right button does that. Mm, that's like a puncher. Grab. Let's attack something. This guy's been getting on my nerves for quite some time. So let's punch him. Can we hit him? Come here. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Come. Come. Nope. So steering this thing isn't quite like you would expect it to steer. He's running from us. He's scared. He's scared of the prawn suit. Oh! Oh! Yeah, get you some prawn suit action. And we're down on the ground. So... Okay, we have a limited thrust. I just noticed that at the bottom. So we can thrust and then that counts down. And then it has to charge. So it is kind of like a jetpack jump. This thing's made to be a bottom crawler, apparently. Yeah, so we devastated that guy. Let's uh, let's go see what else we can get into with this thing. And our energy's at 98%. I gotta look to see. I'm assuming it takes the energy cells like everything else takes. Do we get this little guy? Yeah, get, get, yeah, come at me. Oh, 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 oh it's so good. <laughs> That's great. Can we do a double? Oh, we can't do a double whammy. All right, let's hit this guy with a double whammy. Is he already dead? He may be already dead. Nope, he's running. He doesn't want nothing to do with this prawn suit. So I noticed there's nodes. There's like the bigger nodes. Uh, let me see if I can find one. I thought there was one around here somewhere. Like the bigger metal nodes. I wonder if we need a specific arm for those or if we can use these normal basic arms. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to put this in the base of the Cyclops and here we go, here's the salt nodes, That's, that'll work. Anyway, I'm gonna put this in the, in the Cyclops and take the uh, moth out for now. So can we, I can't tell, is it actually harvesting anything? Can we tab? Okay. Is there, um, I don't know if, if it tells us, no, we might need an actual arm for that. Okay, let's get this back up towards the base. Can it sprint? No, it cannot sprint. Okay. This thing is amazing. I'm so excited right now. I cannot wait to go exploring with it. Like, I'm super excited just to go exploring. So, can we just... Parker up here? Is this, uh, is this a good spot? Let's park it right here. Let's park it on top of this dome. This seems like a legit spot. Okay, let's... Let's get out. And... Let's inspect it from the outside. Let's see where we refill the power. That's, uh, into the prawn suit. I guess that's its jets. It's okay. It takes two power cells at the top. Oh, prawn suit storage. Open storage. Okay, that's cool. It's got its own individual storage slot. That is amazing. Okay, I love everything about this already. This thing is super fancy. And, uh, yeah, I cannot wait. We're definitely going to do some exploring with this. Like I said, I think we need the... I We really got to find that moon pool. Because I, I'm pretty sure you need that to do any upgrades to anything. Because you dock it in the moon pool and then it has the upgrade station and stuff like that. At least that's the way it used to be. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's it's still the same. So let's go up here. Let's uh, detach the sea moth out of here. And see if we can get the prawn suit inside this thing. Because I'm pretty sure the prawn suit goes inside of here as well. And then it should drop out, and we're going to park this right in... Whoa, Jesus. Uh, apparently, we're not going to be able to drive properly, and we're going to bang up the side of the base first. And uh, let's go ahead... Do I have my repair gun on me? Go ahead and repair that up. Nobody likes a broken up Seamoth. Okay, give that a little repair. Hopefully, the base didn't take any damage. Nah, I think it should be okay. Okay. Now... Hopefully, getting this inside of here will not be too difficult. Come on, just just grab her. Just grab it. Grab. Nope. And we're out of out of jets, apparently. Okay. We just jet straight up. Straight up. Should be close enough. Where is that? Oh, we missed it. We completely missed it. Come on, 30%. 
Just grab the thing. Nope, and we're out of thrust. So, this is not as easy as you would think it would be. And uh, let's try it one more time. Get up on top of the base. Let's, well, let's get right here. And then we're aiming for like right, right about there, right? I think that's what we're aiming for. Let's head for it. Let's kind of just give it a little, little boop. And grab it. There we go. That's what we wanted. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm super excited for that. That is amazing. Are you going to turn the lights off? Okay, well, I guess the lights just stay on. Or there's another key for it. I'll have to look up later. That's cool. That's fine, though. I'm okay with that. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for this week's episode. Next week will be full of prawn suit action. And uh, I will get the moon pool off camera. Apparently, that's going to be a complete total pain in the butt. I'm going to find that thing one way or another and get that attached to the base i'll find it i won't build it i'll wait for you guys we'll build it together and uh, we will modify that prawn suit i'll collect lots of resources and be ready for it all right so that's going to wrap it up for this episode before i go i want to give a quick shout out to my patreon supporters thank you so much for all of your support you all are absolutely amazing if you would like to help support this channel through patreon it really helps out a lot there's a link for that in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy and you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time thanks for watching